Hi guys, it is Sunday again. It's the time for the weekly athletics news. Um, I've got my very old England rugby shirt on because it says BT Cellnet. That shows how old it is. But that kind of gives you a way of what other sport we have in this week's news. We do have athletics news, rugby news, and also some surfing news today. I thought I would um, put in some surfing news because it relates to a surfer here in the southwest of England. So um, let's get on with the roundup. So let's start with the rugby. This weekend saw the conclusion of the Six Nations, which of course was halted back in March due to COVID-19. And pleased to say that England took the title of the Six Nations as they beat Italy. And they were helped with the win because France beat Ireland. I also like the fact that Scotland beat Wales. I love this fact that Scotland beat Wales. So yeah, England are Six Nations champions of 2020. So some of you might know that I do tend, I do go to CrossFit once a week when I can, the only day I can fit it in. And last weekend was the CrossFit Games in the US. Um, how, whatever you think about CrossFit, the weekend of, of workouts was really t intense, you know, just watching it, I'm like, no, thank you, I don't want to do that. And so, yeah, those who are interested in CrossFit Games, Tia Claire Toomey won it for a fourth time. So she's now the fittest woman in history. And Matt Fraser took his fifth title, making him the fittest man on earth in history. So if you are interested, you can still see a lot of the workouts from CrossFit on YouTube, so check them out. They are just intense and they are really, truly inspiring as well. Um, what else? Oh yes, surfing. So, Devon-based surfer Andrew Cotton surfed his, surfed his fastest wave in Portugal. He said it was the fastest wave he has ever surfed. If you want to see the footage, I will link it below because it is incredible the size of this wave. So well done to him. No, thank you. Um, Lynn Rathjen of the USA. Um, he now holds the USA age group mile record. He's 75 and ran the mile in 5 minutes, 59 seconds and 18 hundredths of a second. Another fellow USA runner, Galen Rupp, ran a 60 minute, 22 second half marathon in a pop-up event over there. Um, a swimmer from Gloucestershire, he has walked the length of Hadrian's Wall in only trunks and a Roman helmet. He walked the 91 miles raising money for the charity Rugby for Heroes. <laughs> so, you know, it has been pretty mild lately, so I'm sure he was warm enough in just his trunks and his helmet. And, you know, they do say you lose most of your heat from your head, so he was sensible wearing a helmet. I think I mentioned Tommy Huge, Huges from Ireland the other week. Well, he has now smashed the over 60 marathon record by running a two-hour... 30 minute and 6 second marathon at the Down Royal Marathon last week. An amazing time for someone who is in their 60s. Lastly, cycling. Teo um, Gregorian Hart became the second Brit to win the Giro d'Italia cycle race last weekend. So there we have it. That is the news roundup. Athletics, surfing, rugby, and cycling. So there we have it. So if you're new to my channel, please subscribe. Every week 
on a Sunday, I do do this weekly roundup um, just to let you know what's been going on in the world of athletics and a few other bits of sport as well. Throughout the week, any news I do post to my Facebook page, which is Olivia Killinit. So please um, like my page as well to stay up to date daily on any news that pops up. So again, have a great Sunday evening, guys. Um, please give this video a thumbs up, subscribe and whatever you do. Hashtag killing it.